Look at this. Look at this. There is the Blastopopolis. Look at this. Oh my god, that looks amazing. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the video. So today for this video, honestly, I'm really scared because this video is going to be pretty hard. Now, we are playing in Bonanza, so that should make it a bit easier. But today, we have a mastery mode in Bloons Tower Defense Battle. So every single balloon is a rank above what it should be. But there are some special changes as well. Because Makerom is making this mod and he's really also making mods, I'll link the mod and his channel in the description of this video. Um, basically, there is the Blaster Populous boss balloon in this mod. There is also a secret boss on round 43 of this mod instead of the ZOMGs. And there are also DDTs instead of ceramics. So instead of just regular ceramics and mobs, we have DDTs. And there's also another brand new balloon called the Fire Balloon. So but yeah, this is going to be completely crazy. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Now, we do have the ninja so we can slow things down. And it's just a good tower overall. We also have the farm so we can actually make ourselves some money. As you can see, though, the scent balloons are just regular at least. So we don't have to worry about those too much. But look at this. We're only on run four. It's only going to get crazier and crazier from here on. Like, oh my god, I'm going to have to get up lead detection. I have the soup monkey so I can hopefully beat some really hard stuff. Like DDTs. How on earth am I meant to beat DDTs on like, any ceramic rounds will have DDTs on. Like, I'm going to have to farm a lot of money really, really fast. But yeah, really hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure to like the video if you do enjoy. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Because I do daily content like this. And also, tell me, should I do videos on this mastery mode? But trying to use bad towers. Like, I could try and use, like, a glue gunner. Actually, no, glue gunner's not bad. But I could I, I could use stuff like the mortar, for, for example. And the bomb tower. Stuff that, like, you don't really use that much. Okay, so we're already kind of struggling to stuff. Uh, I'm going to use improved eco boost because I can. We really need to focus on getting our farms up. As you can see, the balloons are only getting stronger and stronger. And also, Makrom is actually sending me stuff, which I don't appreciate. Dude, Makrom, what are you doing? Oh, he's going eco. He's going eco. He doesn't have farms. I'm really dumb. Okay, that, that does explain it. Let's get this up. Also, we have the boats for our fourth tower. That is actually... I think that's going to be really good. Okay, so we just need to get rid of these farms. We'll sell them just now. Hopefully, we have enough. Perfect for a factory. Oh, no, I didn't click it. Okay, there we go. We got it before the round ended. Let's use another one of these. Now, we do have the lightning if we really need to use it. Also, he's going to start sending me yellows right here. So, let me just get up another ninja just to defend against these yellows. Uh, oh, my God. Look, there are already black balloons. And that doesn't seem like much, but we're only around eight now. Dude, I can't wait to see the Blast Apopolis balloon in a Bloons Tower Defense Battles. If you haven't seen it before... It's basically a fiery boss balloon from Bloons Monkey City and stuff like that. And some events in Bloons Tower Events 5. And it is a very, very strong balloon. And I don't know if Makrom's actually going to be able to defend against it. Because he is using, for some reason, he is not using farms. He is literally just using the tag shooter and eco and stuff like that. So I don't know if that's going to work. Now, I'm going to get up another Balloon Jitsu Ninja. Do we have so much money? We have so much money right now. So, the first DDTs, I think, come on round 22. Because that's when the first ceramics are maybe around 20 i'm not entirely sure so we just have to make uh make sure we have a temple i just want to make sure i have a temple and a saboteur supply line so i can actually deal with all that stuff now if you look at all these rounds guys uh sorry if you look at the map here i don't know why i said rounds you can see there is a lot of space for farms on this map which is absolutely great because i need a lot of farms to be able to defend against everything so let me just get up a couple more bias right here can i go for one there perfect look this map is gonna look so good as well with the blast populous balloon because like it's white and then you have the fiery red on it like they're complete opposites because it's like ice versus fire it's gonna be really awesome also i'm just gonna make sure i have a good tower up so i'm just gonna get up a nice sun god right here it is a shame that we don't have camera detection for it but it is what it is also makram has a ninja over there he has the village he has the tag shooter he has some decent towers definitely that tag shooter is going to do work against all of the group balloons Okay, so we just got a space pinks. Dude, space pinks, we're absolutely not going to struggle to any of this stuff right now. However, in a couple of rounds, we are definitely going to start struggling. We've already got regen blacks coming in. But, like, this stuff isn't too hard so far. I'm pretty, I'm fairly happy with how everything's going so far. But it will literally, it will get exponentially harder. It's going to get ridiculous, guys. It is going to get absolutely ridiculous. So how much money do we have in these? Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it for a bit longer. Okay, this is a really easy round. We've just got a couple 
couple of pink balloons. Also, I believe, I, I don't know when we're going to see the fire balloons, but hopefully we do see the fire balloons soon. I know they are added to the mod. It's a brand new balloon. I think it's from Macrom's May mod. And yeah, you can download this mod in the description of this video. Obviously, it puts you in the hacker pool if you do use it, so just beware of that. Okay, so we've got lead balloons coming out. That's that's nothing to be scared of. That's absolutely fine. We're fine against lead balloons. Um, let's get a couple more balloons. Oh, there we go. There are the fire balloons, guys. Look at those. Macrom's literally going to die. He might actually die. Dude, look at that. Did you see the fire balloons? That is crazy. Oh my god, that's actually so scary. So they're way stronger than regular ceramics. Uh, let me just collect all the money from these. <laughs> um, okay, we need to get up a good defense. Wait, I need to get up a temple. I need to get up a temple right now. Otherwise, we could literally die to DDTs. Because I think there might be ceramics on the next round. So, let me just get up a temple right here. We got a Sabo if we really need to use it. Uh, let me get up a couple more balloon shits and ninjas right here. Uh, yeah, he's getting up a Sabo over there. Can you see he just used the Sabo? So, if we Sabo right now... Uh, is there going to be a DDT or something? Okay, we got camel leads. I used it way too soon. Why did I use it right then? Let's see what comes out on this round. What is it going to be? What is on this round, guys? What is on this round? Are there DDTs? No. Okay, okay. Maybe there'll be DDTs. Maybe not. I, I can't remember which rounds have ceramics on. Um, There might be more fire balloons on this round, though. Fire balloons are really scary. I think they have, like... I, I don't know if it's quite double the health of a ceramic, but they have two rainbows inside. They are very, very strong. I think they replace regular rainbows. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, look at that defense right there. Okay, there are the fire balloons. There are the fire balloons. Look how scary that is, dude. Oh my god. You can see it's taking him a while to pop those fire balloons, even though he has two balloon jitsu ninjas and all of that stuff right there. Like, it shouldn't take that long to pop a regular balloon. They are really strong. Yeah, so he's getting a Super Monkey Fan Club up. He's also got the village right there, so he makes extra money off his eco and stuff. Um, we're going to keep our factories for now. We've also got a lovely temple there, which is definitely going to do work against everything. We can also fit a temple over there, so I'm going to do that. It's kind of a useless spot for a temple, but it is what it is on this map. I, I'm not sure what to think about this map. But lots of like good players at the game, I don't think they like it because it's like... I don't know, I, I think it's like a fairly short map. There's not much to it. But honestly, from a, like, a design point of view, I think it looks... Looks really good. Okay, I'm prepared. Yeah, there are the DDTs. There are the DDTs, guys. Look at that. Please don't die, Macrom. Okay, Macrom's good, I think. Look at that. There are literally DDTs in Balloon Star Defense Battles now. On round 22, that was. So remember, they replaced Ceramic Balloons. So on round 32, when there are literally like a hundred plus uh like ceramic balloons and stuff. Well, that means there are going to be like 100 plus DDTs, which is really scary. So, I'm going to make sure we have a better defense right here. So, I'm not going to put stuff at the very front because I want you guys to see everything. Let me collect the money from these BIAs. Let me sell this. Let me sell all of my farms, actually. We have enough money. We have $426,842. We also have 6680 eco. That is absolutely enough. That is enough. I am happy with that. Like, we can definitely get a lot more towers for that. Maybe I'll regret that choice later on, but we do have to sabotage which is definitely going to help us. Okay, so let's get up. Actually, you know what? You know what? I take that back. I take that back. I'm going to go for a couple more BAs. I, I feel like I feel like I just need the extra eco, a little bit of extra money. Um, So I don't want to be... Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that. There are more DDTs on this round. This is so scary. And the DDTs have fire balloons inside a set of re regular ceramics. I don't think there are actually any ceramics in this game mode. There are no ceramics. There are just fire balloons, which are basically double as hard to kill as regular ceramics. So really, really scary stuff. Round 25, we're doing okay. Let me get up a couple more of these sabos, and we're gonna get more balloon chips and ninjas as well. And let's see. I really want to see what is on round 43, guys. Okay, there are more DDTs. We're fine though. We have a good defense. Now I I don't think actually wait, wait, wait. Are the um are the DDTs camo? I think they're actually camo. Because obviously normally they're camo and lead, but I, I I think they are camo because he has a village over there so he can hit everything. He's also getting a ring of fire near the front, you do you. Okay, I literally have an army of Bloon Jitsu Ninjas. Look at this. Look at this. Nothing is going to get past my Bloon Jitsu Ninjas. And yeah, he's still... It looks like he's struggling a bit to the to the DDTs, guys. He is actually struggling a bit to the DDTs. Like, I mean, they're not dying instantly at all. He's also got the Energy Beacon. He probably has a really high eco by now. So he's probably able to afford any defense he wants. He's starting to spam the Ninjas, as you can see. I honestly... I don't think he picked the right towers. I mean, he picked decent towers. But like... I guess the village and maybe maybe he got the dark monkey for his fourth tower. Oh, actually, no, he probably got tax shooter for his fourth tower because I definitely. Oh, look at this. Look at this. There is the blast the populace. Look at this. Oh, my God. That looks amazing. 
That looks so good. Oh my god. How on earth? Okay, we actually kind of demolished those. But they have the same health as a ZOMG already. Remember, normally the ZOMG comes out on round 43. But ZOMG type things are coming out on round 27. That is ridiculous. That is not even fair. But we did do a good job against them. We have 10,000 eco. There are a lot of DDTs right there. We're fine against those. Let's, uh, let's collect the money from all of these. Again, more Blastopopolis. Doesn't it look amazing in this mod? I really love it. Okay, so let's go for another temple right here. Remember, we do have the Sabo if we really need to use that. But we're doing absolutely fine at the moment. So let's go for another temple right there. As you can see, we are really demolishing everything, actually. I'm happy. Like, I haven't done the be best job with my defense. I've just been con concentrating on the commentary and stuff like that. Um, but our defense, it's it's all right. We have a couple of temples. We have four temples, about to be five. And we should probably get some boats, actually. Why don't... Yeah, let's get some boats. Although, I'm not going to use the ability, the pirate ability, because I do feel like that might crush the game. Because, of course, it has the animation where it pulls in the mob class balloon. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's going to work on these things, guys. I really don't. So, we're not going to go for that. Instead, we're going to go for uh, aircraft carriers, I think. Just because it's, like, a good defense, I guess. Like, it's not great, but it's... it's something at least round 31 right now round 32 is going to be the difficult round guys that is going to be the round with hundreds of ddts so hopefully we can defend against that um do i have all of my boats up right there i think i do perfect okay yeah our defense is coming together it looks pretty solid okay this is the hard round look how many ddts look at those ddts on his side oh my god he almost just died right there did you see did you see that? No way! Did you see that? He just about managed to defend. My god. Oh my god, it got to the very end. Literally, his life probably just flashed before his eyes right there. I did not expect it to be that close. I did not expect it to be that close. My god, look at that. Look at his side. Is he okay? Oh man, those DDTs are strong. Those DDTs are really strong. And there's going to be more rounds like that with more ceramic balloons. I am I am really scared now. I mean, my defense is way better than his. But that is super duper scary to see how strong all that stuff is. Wow. Okay, but yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, where I use the bad towers or I use like harder maps. Like imagine this on indoor pools, dude. That would be hilarious. It would also be really hard. Uh, it would probably really annoy me, but it would, be, it would be a good video. So yeah, tell me what you think. Also, leave a like on this video if you are enjoying and yeah leave a comment if you're watching this far into the video so i know uh it's really awesome to know you guys watch so far into the video so thank you so much for all of the support recently it's been really awesome i'm really enjoying making videos at the moment so yeah thank you guys so much Oh, can we fit one there? Yeah, we can. More Blastopopolis. We're absolutely fine against the Blastopopolis. Now, let's start spamming the Tech Towers. Now, we do have a problem. And the problem is 10,000 Eco is not enough. I should have farmed harder. But it's okay. It is. It's fine. You know what? We have a good defense. I, I'm totally content just waiting here. Um, dude, look at that Blastopopolis, though. It looks so good with the DDTs. There are no BFBs. There are no ZOMGs. There are no Moabs. It's just DDTs, Blast the Populous, and of course, what comes on round of 43. I, I can't wait to show you guys what comes on round 43. It is going to be ridiculous. Also, I believe every single Blast Populous has two or four DDTs in, I think. It looked like two there. So, yeah, that is pretty broken. Hopefully, we can defend against all of that kind of stuff. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. He's having to constantly sabotage supply line his side so he can actually defend against everything because his defense, he has a ton of balloon jutsu ninjas and he has the MIB village, um, I believe, so he can pop the uh, the DDTs because they have the lead property. So normally, the balloon jutsu ninjas are useless against them, but I, I think now, because he has the village, he's able to defend. Oh, my God. Look at his defense right there. What is he doing with those tax shooters? What is he doing? I, I guess he's going to go for the Blade Maelstroms, probably. Um, that's probably a good thing to do. Man, those DDTs are just getting faster and faster. The Blaster Populous, not so much. Like, with my defense right now, we are absolutely demolishing all the Blaster Populuses. Uh, I don't, oh, dude, it's such a long word to say. Blaster Populous. I remember trying to spell that in some of my titles. Um, like, dude, it's really, it's really hard to spell those. Like, I never really learned to spell it properly, because it's just like, it's not, it's a word I used occasionally for my titles, because of course, you have the Blast, uh, uh, Blast Apopolis Inferno Boss Arena and stuff. Okay, so he doesn't have any, oh yeah, he's going for the Maelstroms over there. Look at those Maelstroms, that is pretty cool. Dude, this mod is really, really awesome. I love it, I love it so much. Thank you so much, Macron, for making it. Oh man, is he gonna die though? 
Is he going to die? These rounds are getting pretty hard for him, actually. Yeah, wow. Look at these rounds. The Blaster Populuses, they're really getting far on his defense right there. Now, remember, we just need to make it to round 43 because I want to see what is on round 43. Now, actually, I do know what comes on round 43, uh, but it's more you guys that don't know. Although, maybe you skipped ahead. Don't skip ahead to round 43. Don't skip ahead. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Okay, so I bought a couple more Tech Terrors. Again, 10,000 Eco, it seems like an absolute ton of Eco, but it, it's not really that good. Like, I, I mean, it's good, but when you want to go really late game, like, you need more than that. And actually, if you look at my defense right now, look how far these Blaster Populuses are getting. Oh, man, this is kind of scary. Maybe I should have picked a longer map, guys. Um, even our defense with multiple temples, a lot of Tech Terrors. We got all of the boats, we got all of the ninjas. We are actually kind of struggling against the balloons, although not as much as Macrom, guys. Absolutely not as much as Macrom. Macrom is very much struggling over there, and I don't know if they're actually going to be able to defend against all of this. I think, oh, it looks like round 40 is an easy round, guys. Look at this. Okay, never mind. There is a new Blaster Populous on the screen right there. Yep, he managed to defend against everything. I'm pretty impressed. Round 40, three more rounds to go. Now, I know round 42 is a pretty damn long uh, round, so hopefully... Macrom doesn't die to that round. I mean, I feel like they will just about make it. I feel like it's going to be close, but just remember that all of those Blaster Populuses on their side have the same health as a ZOMG. So imagine he's trying to defend a constant ZOMG rush on his side, basically. That is basically what this is. And with Balloon Chips and Ninjas and, like, the, the Blade Maelstroms, like, against the massive ZOMG rush, you can, you can kind of, like, it, it's not that good against that. Also, is he using his Sabots and stuff? I guess he is. If I use my Sabot, look how slow things are. That is, yeah, that's low-key. Actually, high-key, that is what is saving him right now. Just having that sabotage supply line so he can slow everything down to defend against all this stuff. But yeah, look how many there are on the screen right there. That is ridiculous. It's kind of a shame that all of the Blade Maelstroms are at the very top of the map because that's not a good place for them. Also, is it just me or is this the, does the MIB Village ability when he activates it? Doesn't it look a bit weirder than usual? Okay, round 42. We're going to see very, very soon what happens on round 43. Please defend. Macrom, you can do it. You can do it, Macrom. That is so many DDTs. Oh my god, look at his side right now. He's using a tower boost. Oh, that is insane. Wait, wait, wait. I need to use my ability. I'm just going to use my ability right here. That is ridiculous. Look how many DDTs there are on the screen right there. Oh, because it has a ton of ceramics on this round, I think. Or at least it has a ton of balloons. I think he's dead. I don't think he's going to be able to defend against this, guys. I don't, am I going to be able to defend against this? If I use every single tech terror ability I have, and I use the Sabah when I get it back. Okay, we were okay. That was the hardest round yet, guys. That was ridiculous. Okay, round 43. What are we going to get, guys? There we go. The bad balloon. The BAD on round 43. This thing has four times the health of ACOMG. But I don't think it matters, guys. I don't think it matters. I think Macrom is going to go down to the Blaster Populous right there. You can see we're doing good damage to this. We are doing good damage. But I think he definitely, if he doesn't get taken down by the Blaster Populuses, he is 100% going to be taken down by the Babylon. Dude, he defended. He defended. Oh, my God. Okay, we're using Big Balloon Buster. We are using Big Balloon Buster. Can we defend the Babylon? We can defend the Babylon, guys. We just defended against a Babylon on round 43. Macrom stands no chance against that. Oh, he's sending DDTs against me. He is sending the DDTs, but there is no way he's going to beat me, beat me with the DDTs. Oh my god, this was absolutely insane, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.